Hello, Brad or Brett Wild here in the middle of Wyoming in the Coronado King Air B200. Let me just show you a map of where we're at. We're here at Bear Lake and we're going to fly over to Circle B Airport. And you're thinking, well, what's the big deal? Well, let me show you something that's quite bizarre that I discovered by accident when I was looking out the window of the X737 on a flight uh, down to Grand Junction, Colorado. Ready? Yup, this bizarre monolith rising into the sky. So I thought we'd fly over and take a look and you can give me your opinion as to how it got there and what might be the issues. So let's get the King Air fired up. All right, we've got the uh, engines running here and we're off to the monolith. And I've got a notch of flaps here, but no enunciator lights. All this says is that we've got a taxi light on. I've got my altitude set to 22.7. And uh, I believe we're ready to go. So, break off. Takes quite a bit of power to get this guy going. But once it does, and crank up the power that car better get out of the way <laughs> and of course you got a street light right in the middle perfect rotate gear up Pull up our autopilot and we can probably put up our flaps. And um, turn off our auto feather. Prop sync on. And let's go ahead and use our autopilot to help us climb here there we go brighten up the cockpit a little bit so we can come back a little bit on our RPMs, our props down to 1900 for climbing that's right here we'll keep our torque right up there So not a lot of excitement here. There is another airport right here. I'll see if it shows up on our map. Yes, Cokeville. So here we are.
So we're already at 10,000 and got quite a ways to go. So we'll continue to climb here at uh, 2,000 feet a minute. The recommended is 140 knots between 10,000 and uh, flight level 200. Bear Lake. So I will not bore you with this climb, but as we get a little bit closer, I'll chime back in. So we're climbing through flight level 200. And there's our monolith. There is an airport um, right behind our tail there. That's Cokeville. So coming up on flight level 210 and the top of our monolith. That's what our passengers would see. Probably freaked out. Well obviously with the graphics looks like stretched pixels here. It's definitely a bug. But it's certainly interesting and it's consistent. And believe it or not there is an airport on the top. Wyoming or Whiskey Yankee 32. And let's see if we can land on it. All right, I'm coming around for my approach. And um, I am high, but I need to be able to see that runway. And I'll need to slow way down. So far, no flaps, no gear. I just want to see that runway and try to get lined up with it. I'm having a hard time holding my altitude here. All right, I think the runway is straight in front of us. So, come back on my power. And that runway is about 21.4 for altitude. So, coming back on my power. Still got quite a bit of altitude to lose, but I want to keep that runway straight in front of me. It's pretty much straight east-west. And get the gear down, slow down here. Get some flaps. Get slowed down here. And we need to get, yeah, please slow down. I'm going to have to drag this thing in. These props take a while to spool up, so I have to be really careful. I don't stall it. Okay, that's about as low as I want to go. A little more power. A 
I don't want to stall, but I'm dragging it in. Then I have to be able to stop this thing. Wish I had pappy lights. All right, let's get it down. And reverse and brakes. All right, we stopped. <laughs> Come on, stop, stop, stop. So, a bit hairy. But it's a pretty short runway. But we didn't go off the end of it. So anyway, that's our little bizarre trip to the monolith in Wyoming. Be interested in your comments.